Welcome back to Ultimus's castle. Last time we fought something or other. Uh, this time we'll fight something or other else. Uh, that's basically how it goes here. It is a big sequence of bosses. Um... Yeah, can we just... It's my estimation that this way is slightly faster. So, we're going this way. Because, uh, no. Uh, hmm. I didn't, I didn't actually want to switch. I wanted to grab that. Because now I can take it over this way. Um, wait a sec. Top left exit from the front foyer. Okay, that would be over here then. This is the front foyer, right? It just says hall. I think it is. Anyway, this is the top and this is the left. Yeah, this, this feels correct. I don't think we've been over here before. I mean, we've been in this room before, uh, but what I mean to say is we haven't done the puzzle in this part of the castle yet. Wait a second. No, no, I don't think this is right. I see- no. This is actually the room I wanted. Ha ha! It was kind of hidden there. We found it, though. So, uh... This puzzle is quite simple. We want all of the boxes to be open. If we open one box, or close one for that matter, the two boxes beside it will also change. It's that kind of puzzle. You've probably seen it before. So, the solution is not that hard. Ta-da! It's only four. It's not a big deal. Although, having said that, with the... The 3x3 three three grid is actually easier to solve for this kind of puzzle, usually. Anyway, hello! Face my wrath for seeking thy sealed power. Uh, so yeah. Y this guy uses a lot of lightning elements. And has a lot of HP. And I think it absorbs lightning as well. Oh, you can draw a meteor. I guess it is kind of a vehement, so that makes a certain amount of sense. Uh, can I steal from you? Do I even still have Mug Equipped? I'm not sure. But I am immune to lightning, so you don't really have a whole lot going against me. Especially after I do, do this. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna let Doom Train go off. Then I'm gonna start hitting him. Really hard. I mean, it probably deals more damage than Renoa's regular attack. Probably? It's a little hard to say. I expect Squall and Irvine to be hitting for max damage once Doom Train comes in. But Renoa might. Like, her attack power isn't really that high by comparison. She is really spec for the magic. It's just a matter of, uh, it's just a matter of his magic defense, really, and whether Meteor is actually any good against him. I guess I could just summon something.
Hmm. Yep, that's Meteor. I think I just did that to you. Maybe I killed it. Oh, uh, I don't think so. How much damage have I done? Oh, I did kill it. Well, that was underwhelming. Let's see, that's like... That didn't take long enough. I'm gonna need to do the next one this time as well. I thought that would take a little bit longer. Oh well. Uh, okay. So, there, not discounting Ultimacia herself, there are two bosses left. Uh, of those two bosses, one of them is an optional super boss. Uh, oh, Mega Weapon, who I do not intend on battling. Because, well, it's just not really worth it, frankly. You don't get anything for beating him. It, it's really just a bragging rights reward boss. It's really hard, hard, and there's no real reward for it, and I'm just not interested in doing it. And, and also, more to the point, actually, it's kind of asinine to even battle in the first place. It has its own puzzle. It has its own special puzzle just to access, and it's probably the most complicated puzzle in this place. It's just not worth it. That being said... We're gonna go this way again. At least I'm, I think this is where we wanna go. Well, yeah, I can make a quick mention of something while I'm over here as well. Um, just a quick point out. Quick thing to point out. That scary thing. This thing, this is all. This is this is Omega Weapon. But as I said, in order to actually battle him, we need to do a com as a fairly asinine puzzle, which I don't really want to do. And that's the thing, really. I feel no obligation to beat him, but if he was simple enough to fight, then I would fight him, just to show show him what win or lose. I do it once, but. It's not that simple. It's a real pain to actually battle, so I'm not going to. I do not know what's down here. Let's take a quick look. Looks like not a whole lot of anything. Hmm. Interesting that you can go down there, though. Uh, no. Actually, I want to go in here, I believe. Oh, there's the save point I can't use. And up we go. And up and up, and where do we stop? Nobody knows. Well, I have a pretty good idea, I must admit. Uh, yeah, we are looking for that thing, actually. Wait for it! Oh, I, di I, didn't, I didn't quite get it. Oh, there we are. Yep, that looks like a boss, all right. D, we can draw a flare, which is cool. Uh, so, I am going to do something a little different here and use Bahamut because- oh yeah, it's, it's spelling out a word. Because this is none other than, uh, 
Tiamat. You, you saw it there for a second. You, you saw it. <laughs> so, Palm, it seems appropriate against Tiamat to me. So here we are. Also, the animation for Bamu is not painfully long, so, you know, he has that going for him as well. Uh, Tiamat here has the most HP of the bunch, out of all the bosses we have fought here. Uh, and you can probably figure out the gimmick to this fight. We want to kill Tiamat before she uses, um... Before she uses Dark Flare and murders us. Fortunately, we should have little trouble doing that. Although, it is worth mentioning, Tiamat is actually resistant, but not immune to a lot of elements. Something to keep in mind. Not not just for this fight either, actually. We'll, we'll be mentioning something similar soon enough. Oh, well, here it comes. This, uh... This could hurt for Squall. In particular. Oh, actually, no, I just absorbed it. I wonder what kind of damage that dealt. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was terrific. I wasn't expecting to absorb it. Um... I thought it dealt non-elemental damage. I wonder if I have it written I wonder if I have it written down to the contrary. Okay, well I mean if if I absorb Dark Flare, then I am truly untouchable. Um Let's see. Yeah, I have no idea what kind of magic Dark Flare is. I, I am genuinely surprised that I absorbed it. So... Somehow I can't imagine it's fire. Uh... Is there a Dark Element? In this game? I'm not sure that there is. There's Bio, but not really the same thing. Oh, would you look at that? Hmm. Well, one to go. And it's triple. Let's see. Just for point of reference, I absorb... I only absorb fire, ice, and lightning. So maybe it is fire-based? But that doesn't seem right. Maybe it's like all three. Hmm. For reference, other than those, there's Earth, Poison, Wind, Water, and Holy. So there is no Shadow Element in this game. That's weird. I don't- I feel like I shouldn't have absorbed that. There's- there was something a little fishy there. Uh, as long as I'm in here, let's just take a quick check. Okay, and... okay. Right. Actually... We can worry about that later. Okay. 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 We just have one quick thing to do this time. And then we will be done. You know, until next time. I do need to go across here, though. Thank you. I want to climb to the top of the clock tower. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, no, th this is correct. I am almost certain. 
We'll see, we'll see soon enough either way, though. Aha! This is where I wanted. There's a save one over there. Now that we've unlocked the ability to save, I'm gonna use it. Uh, although, it is worth mentioning. Fairly important point here. This save point, uh, this one right here. Well, if I take off move find. Wait, really? I could have sworn this was. I, I could have sworn you needed move find to see the save point. Maybe they changed that in the PC version. Hmm. I should I should definitely have that in my notes. So let's uh. Oh no! It was the one at, on the bottom of the clock tower that that was the hidden save point. My mistake. Okay then. Well, in any case, we are gonna stop up here. Join me next time for the final battle. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy of Kiss Blue, and have a great day. Bye!